The Little Red Elf by Barbara Barrier McGrath, illustrated by Rosalie Bonnet. This is a 3.3 AR level. This is a twist on The Little Red Hen folktale. We love folktales. Once upon a time, there was a reindeer, a penguin, a hare, also known as a rabbit, and a little red elf. They all lived together in a comfy, cozy workshop. The reindeer liked to snooze in the straw. The penguin liked to relax in the bathtub. The hare liked to hibernate by the hearth. That left the little red elf to get all the workshop work done. She swept the sawdust and boxed the bulbs. She organized the tools. She stirred the paint and untangled the lights. She shoveled the path and checked the mail and polished the sleigh. Phew. One day, she was filling the bird feeders. She came upon some pine cones. Who will help me plant these pine cones? asked the little red elf. Not I, said the reindeer. Not I, said the penguin. Did someone say something, mumbled the hare. Then I will, said the little red elf, and she did. Soon, a little pine tree began to push up through the ground. Who will help me water the pine tree, chirped the little red elf. Not I, said the reindeer. No thanks, said the penguin. Snored the hare. Not a problem, I'll do it myself, said the little red elf. Each morning, the little red elf watered the pine tree. She was delighted to see it grow straight and tall. Finally, the pine tree was ready. The little red elf asked her friends, who will help me bring this pine tree into our workshop? Not I, said the reindeer. Blub, blub, squirted the penguin. <sniffs> Snored the hare. Well, I love being busy, said the little red elf, with the most positive attitude. The little red elf got her shovel and dug and dug and dug. She lifted the tree into a bucket and carefully brought it into the workshop. When the tree was positioned just the right way, the little red elf asked, who will help me string the lights on this tree? Not I, said the reindeer. What's with all the questions, said the penguin. 10 more minutes, grumbled the hare. Then I'll handle it, said the little red elf. After the lights were up, the little red elf grew tired. I don't suppose there's anyone here who might assist me putting ornaments on the tree, she begged. Not I, said the reindeer. They float, don't they, said the penguin. Who's there, said the hare. The little red elf took a deep breath. That's okay, I can do this, she exclaimed. Soon the workshop began to glow and sparkle. Ooh, said the reindeer. Ah, said the penguin. You, you missed a spot, said the hare. Now that I have your attention, the little red elf said, who will help me put out the milk and cookies? 
Not I, said the reindeer. Why bother saying yes now, said the penguin. I'm allergic, said the hare. No big deal, said the little red elf. The next morning, the piles and piles of presents sat under the tree. Everyone was up early for a change. The little red elf raised an eyebrow, though her voice was sweet as ever. Who will help me open these presents? I will, said the reindeer. I will, yelled the penguin. I want the big one, screamed the hare. With that, the little red elf put her hands out and shouted, Stop! I planted the tree. I watered the tree. I brought the tree into the workshop. I strung the lights. I decorated the tree. I put out the milk and cookies. Now I'm going to open all these presents by myself. <sighs> Bonk. Ooh. The reindeer, the penguin, and the hare stood very still. They were shocked. They began to cry. The little red elf put her hands down. Oh, please don't cry, she said. I'm sorry. Of course you can open the presents. The reindeer, the penguin, and the hare dove into the gifts. Paper and ribbon flew through the air. What did you get? Answered the little red elf. Look, she got a bunch of little elves. They matched them. There's the little red elf, the penguin, the reindeer, and the hare. Ah, the perfect gift for you. Thank you, Santa. They got a pile of little red hens. Hmm, I think they learned their lesson.